opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Radio Global, Hunu Productions, JSA Media, and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Hey, this is Jimmy with your weekly lineup, starting on Mondays at 8 o'clock p.m. We have Spot On with Lynn Owen Debbie. Right after Spot On is Straight Talk with Matt Hazley. He's on at 10 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock p.m., Talk Time with Val. Right after Val is Sammy V with Dots for Food. He's on at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. On Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, we have a radio show called Suspense. And at 10 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, we have On the Air with Mike Allen. On Thursday nights at 8 p.m., we have Outline with Jay and Sarah. After Outline is... We have Real Talk with Robert Zuckerman. After Real Talk, we have Night Talk with Joe Rocks. He's on at 10 p.m. Eastern. At 11.30 p.m. Eastern, we got Pot Talk with Jim and Paul. And at 12.30 a.m., we have Outline with Jay and Sarah. They're on right after Pot Talk. On Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, we have Straight Talk with Matt Hazley. And to wrap it up on Saturdays at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, we have Thoughts for Food with Sammy V and Chris T. That's your weekly lineup. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. You're listening to Outline with Chuck Girl, J Monique. You know who it is? And Chulita Sarita, aka Chichi, on Armed Radio Global. We do have lots of topics you don't want to miss tonight. And we also have a special guest joining us tonight, recording artist Q, who has released his latest single and music video, Who Shot Ya? featuring Jess J. What's up, Q? Hey, how are y'all? Just to let you know that he did call in. He does have a busy schedule. So, you know, he did have to call in tonight. Um, So uh, we do have a couple questions to ask you because we are really, really curious because we loved your single, by the way. Love, love, loved it. And the video is sexy. Yes, it is. Well, my first question is how come come I wasn't in the music video? Well, um, just I'm putting this out there. I didn't ask the question because I I know what happened that day. So Jay did. So I'm gonna put her on blast. Dang, I just got thrown off the bus. They ain't loyal. They ain't loyal at all. All right. So let's get into another question. A location for you guys to come and be be all up in the the front of the camera and everything. You guys just turn me down. So. No, we did not just turn you down, <laughs> Q. <laughs> so, um, tell us about your new single and your video. Come on, what's up? Spill the tea. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's, it's going really good. Uh, the single actually was produced by um, Black Shadow, uh, Troy Tim. Uh He's actually the same producer that produced Sean Paul Dean the Light. So, all my Korean people. Um, he, he, he's actually one of my mentors. Uh, we were working on the track for about, I want to say, a year and a half, trying to make sure you know everything was put together correctly. And then um, we decided to go ahead and use that single um, for the single um, for my first release for 2016. And we ended up doing the music video, shot it in Miami on Celebrity Island, like right down the street from Diddy House. I was trying to see if I could run into him, but... That didn't happen. I was kind of sad about that. But uh, <laughs> um, everything came together. It, it was nice. It was uh, a two-day shoot. Um, and we just pretty much we rented out a, a mansion and just did what we did. You know, a mansion? Just, uh, what? Line. Yes, girl, you missed yeah. it. I did, too. I had to work. I, I was a little upset about that. I was a little upset. Uh, a mansion? Uh, but I'm still stuck uh, on the mansion, though. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, it was it was it was good for what it is. I mean, we had a place that had multiple rooms and a pool, and that was 
was, you know, I mean, Miami, you know how that goes. So we had to do Slappy Island, and we just we did what we had to do. It was, it was, a, it was a fun video, you know, had some models out there, and, and everybody got the time to shine. So let me ask you a question, and I know this may be an inappropriate question, but I watched the video, <laughs> and I said, <laughs> But, you know, we don't really bite our tongues anyway. So um, so I watched the video, and I seen, like, you guys were, like, all intimate and stuff like that. So when when that happens, because the, the girls that are on this video, like, they're, they're fly chicks, you know. They're, they're hot. So do you ever have any moments where, like, your, um, your third leg just speaks up and says hi and makes them feel all uncomfortable? <laughs> too like I mean did, was she surprised that you're I don't put her on the spot <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was moaning and stuff but <laughs> uh, uh, I listen 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 I like her she's just playing the part man whatever you're a liar <laughs> whose idea whose idea was it to do the shower scene you or the producers no it wasn't me at all because if you look at the, the scene I was just supposed to come in the bathroom act like I'm brushing my teeth and then uh, I have one of my girls in the, in the um, shower, and she's just telling me to come in, and then I was supposed to be it. But I wasn't supposed to bash go in. The director was like, no, go in there. So, and then uh, she was uh, like, let me get him. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, she wasn't going to say no. Woo! I was like, let me I hit the gym, because this ain't mm -mm. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Horn dog. Mm. And there, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> well, I have another quick question. Um, right. What was your inspiration with this song? Um, uh, pretty much, I wanted to do a newer, a part two to Hey Girl. Those who follow me and uh, keep up with me and my music. My first single, Hey Girl, which, or one of my single, Hey Girl, which I dropped back in 2013, uh, it's, it's a lovey-dovey song, so I wanted uh, another, like, lifetime type of feel-good music type song, so when I went to my producer, uh, Black Shadow, Troyton, um, I said, hey, we need to make a part two of Hey Girl, so we all got together, um, got a couple of writers from Sony uh, to help us out with the, the whole production itself. So we all sat there, like I said, it took about like a year and a half for us to get everything together perfect the way we wanted it. I mean, it didn't take a year to record it, it just, we kept on making the studio changes and stuff. So it was more of a, I wanted a part two because I felt like Hey Girl did pretty good for what yeah. it was. Um, yeah. And I needed a, I, I wanted a, a newer version uh, of it to keep it rolling. So. Right, right, okay. So what upcoming shows do you have coming up? Um, I have a show in Cocoa Beach. Florida um, at the Sandbar. Um, that's March 18th. So whoever is in town or wants to come through, it's free. Um, it's actually with my, my live band. We're performing there. Uh, we'll be in there from like 11 to about 12.30ish. Um, and then I have a, a show in April on the 16th in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's like a carnival for Las Vegas. And then um, we're still working on the date, but from... I want to say July to September, I'm going 
to be in Africa, Nigeria, uh, South Africa, then um, Nigeria, uh, doing a uh, Save Africa tour. Um, mm. We're going to be rebuilding schools. Um, we're going to be actually performing um, free concerts for everybody in Africa. And, um, you know, the proceeds go back to helping, you know, pretty much build, rebuild Africa. The poor, the poor portion of it. Because a lot of people don't know Africa is actually up to date. Like, some of the locations, like especially South Africa, you would think you're in Miami, South Beach. Yeah. But a lot of the places are not. So, um, you know, just to help out a little, little and pretty much to put it together. Uh, so that's so far this year what I'm booked up to. That's what's up. That is what's up. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, but what, I, I have one more question real quick. Um, so I, I don't know about Africa, but how about you hook us up with some tickets for Las Vegas and, you know, you pay far away so we can go out there and see you. And the hotel, you know too. Saying? Don't forget the hotel. Because, you know, you kind of owe us if we can make it for your video, you know? No? You're right, you're right. I didn't tell the listeners, so I let them know. All right. All right. Good looking <laughs> out. All right. So, um, name some things that people don't know about you. Um, oh, that's a tough one. Um, I actually like a lot of uh, different type of music. I don't, uh, a lot of people think I'm really stuck with, uh, cause I'm island descent. So I do, you know, I'm Antiguan and, uh, Guyanese. So people, a lot of people think, you know, I do reggae, uh, soca type music, but I'm really into like rock. I really listen to, especially growing up, I listen to Blink-182 like all day, um, like Red Hot Chili Pepper, um, and I actually skateboard, like when I'm my downtime, if I'm not, you know, writing music or anything to the kids, I'm actually, I actually have a skateboard and I actually know how to do tricks, so I'm actually pretty good at it, so a lot of people don't know that about me because I don't really publicize it as much as, you know, other people do, I just really, that's just my me time, so. Yeah. That's your you time, okay, that's, that's what's up. Uh, one thing that I found very interesting about riding with Q is that he does not listen to music while he's in the car. What? He likes to <laughs> ride in silence. silence. So that is something that people don't know. <laughs> oh, you like to ride the car in silence? Uh, silence. Why you ride <laughs> Straight I, I silence. Like, like you can hear each other breathe, and you're like, okay. Yeah. Is that so you can see better? Like, what's going on? Is that so you can, like, see better while you're driving? No, it's a reason why I do that. You really just got to think about what, like, going on on a daily basis, like, all the stuff that's going on, music playing, people talking, whatever the case may be. My time in my car where I'm driving, I can drive over to Miami, no music, nothing. Nothing. And since so, so at the time that I'm, I'm actually making my next move of planning and thinking about what needs to be done, the, the thoughts that are going in your head, you actually hear it clearly because at the time that you're actually by yourself. Some people go in a room and they meditate or they But my time is my car. So, like, if I'm driving to wherever studio, I'm not playing anything. Like, yeah. I'm really just... <laughs> I, I really thought that that was interesting. Uh, That's why I wanted to say. I, I, yeah, I didn't find want to bring it after. interesting. I really do. So if I if I happen to ride with you, is it okay? Yeah. You know, if yeah, he plays a little you. bit of music, yeah, you know, little, some Pandora or something. Yeah. He'll let you, but you can just see the look on his face, like really, like this is my car. <laughs> I don't want the music playing. <laughs> Okay, got you. So, you know, I'll respect your car. So I'll ask first. I'm not one of those people that would just, you know, start messing with your radio station. I'm like, ah, this this is ridiculous. Yeah, that that's the difference between me and you. I'll do it. I'll just turn it on and I won't even say it. <laughs> she just said that. I didn't even say that. <laughs> She's like, I can't ride in silence. Turn it up. All right. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Turn up for what? <laughs> All right. So let's talk about some celebrity news. All right. So Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are apparently on a trial separation, sleeping in separate rooms. And this came from HollywoodLife.com. Kim Kardashian could be preparing for divorce for a third time. After her husband, Kanye West, had a number of different outbursts on social media, a new report says that Kim and her family have had enough 
Y'all just had enough? Okay, that, let me continue. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and are ready to cut the cord. Kim is at a loss, a family insider shared with OK Magazine inside their March 21 in- issue. So, of course, Insider is talking about Kim's relationship with Kanye and how it's allegedly falling apart at the seams due to his reckless behavior on social media and at Saturday Night Live. She's questioning the relationship for the first time. For the first time, really? <laughs> That's a lot. Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> yeah, okay, can I be my Yeah, please. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's break it down. Let's, let's, let's do some math here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. I'll break it out there. Kim is in attention. No. Okay. Yes. She loves the attention, period. Kanye West loves the attention. Yep. Period. She knew how Kanye was. Everybody knows how Kanye was. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kanye was anything. Exactly, so and you're married. Me, it looks like it's not really, I, I don't want to say it's fake, but I think it's something that they both need attention because maybe one is, I know Kanye wants to drop his album, so that's going to be, you know, more, it means, you know, there's no news, there's no bad news, what's the damn thing they say? There's no bad, bad publicity? News, bad news. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, I think it's hype, to be honest. I think they both like the attention, they're going to do as much as possible to get, to get relevant again because nobody's really talking about them besides the fact they just had a kid. Yep, that's, that's true. My Absolutely. <laughs> and I, it also seems like, if anything, that I like I knew when they got together that it was going to be more of them battling each other because anybody that gets with one of the Kardashians, they end up losing their name. Well, you know, Kanye kept his, yeah. his hype up. Like, yep. there, he was not a force to be reckoned with when it came to the Kardashians. I don't think that they were prepared for that. So that's probably where, you know, their arguments are happening, too. Absolutely. Do you think it's like an alpha and alpha type of thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're both ridiculous and crazy. And, you know, you can't just put two crazy people like that and expect everything to be okay. I mean, she knew what she was getting. I mean, he was like worshiping her. Like, it's not like, get out of here. She thought about everything before she got with him. Oh, and yeah. Probably that demon mother that she has, too. You know it. You Woo. already know that Chris Jenner done put her on to it. She was like, hmm, girl, I get it. <laughs> oh, man. Trials, Sarah. separation. Trial. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll see what comes up next. So, unfortunately, the report claims that there is more to the story than just Kanye's incessant Twitter rants. Really? I'm so surprised. <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, apparently, the couple are in a rut that has caused them to lose the spark they once shared. They had a spark? They never had a spark. What are they talking about? <laughs> what the spark are they talking <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. That's what Hollywood Life said. Outline did not say this. We're repeating this public information that was on Hollywood Life. Yep. The spark that they once shared. He let himself go while he was working on his album. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Whoa. He let himself go while he was working on his album and clothing line. So, yeah. They continue to say. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, they continue to say, so he's flabby and irritable. <laughs> <laughs> wow dirty i mean irritable i'm um, this isn't news irritable um last time i checked kanye was been irritable for quite a few years y'all he's don't remember irritable. he's an angry little man that's what he is he's always angry <laughs> he's always angry you you know like those um those man childs where it's like they're a grown man but they're like a child that's trapped in a man's body yeah it's like to me kanye um, my opinion of Kanye is that if he doesn't get his way right then he and there, a temper tantrum, a yep. temper tantrum, a childish tantrum, right. you know, kind of like, do y'all not know who I am? Yeah, I'm yeah. Kanye. His yeah. ego is way too big. Mm-hmm. And it has to do with the, uh, what, how they just uh, perceive themselves, like the whole, the whole camp. Um, 
going back to, you know, where he started and where he's at, like, they, they perceive themselves as God, which is why they think God's body so much yep. in their music. So that's the reason why they, they act the tantrums or whatever it is you want to call it. Um, I think he's got that. I think they're on another level. Like, when Kanye rants, I, was, I don't play it, don't mind. That's Kanye. That's like what I said. That's Kanye. What, yeah. what do y'all expect? Him? That's Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. That's Kanye. You either love him or you hate him. That's it. That's Kanye. That's true. That's true. There's no middle ground with Kanye. There's not like, ah, I kind of like him. No. It's either you love him or you just hate him. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, Kim Kardashian is struggling, too. Uh, they continue to say, meanwhile, she's struggling to lose the baby weight and find her confidence again, too. The insider said these issues... <laughs> I'm like, this that chick is lying. Whatever. Lies. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so the insider says these issues have led them to sleeping in different rooms when they are together. Okay, look, have you ever seen the show? Okay, they're never together. So I don't even know that how that even makes a difference. That's just ridiculous. Whatever. Okay, so get this. The, the momager, Chris Jenner, she is extremely concerned that he could potentially destroy the Kardashian-Jenner empire that she's built. Yeah, well, I mean, he has the power to do it. I mean, he is Kanye. I think, <laughs> I think he's, like, the oh, first yeah. person that can actually, like, you know, hurt them. Like, everybody else, they have destroyed. Kanye, he can hold himself. He's he's good. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's a rich people right, problem. I'm saying, though, I wouldn't mind some of them problems. It's like, what? He's just going on some rants, man. Just sit down and talk to him. Put him For in some real. counseling or something. I'm like, man. <laughs> What's going on? So, Q, when you become rich and famous, just, you know, we wouldn't mind helping you with your rich people problems. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you remember us. <laughs> so you're not going to go on no Twitter rants? You're not going to ask Mark Zuckerberg for a million dollars? I'm not. Nope, not doing Twitter rants. Not doing no TV show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch gears real quick um, on some other news. Um, a pro-gun Florida mom accidentally got shot by her four-year-old son. So according to New York what? Daily News, mm-hmm, a proud pro-gun mom was accidentally shot by her four-year-old son. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh because I don't think I don't think it's funny. I think it's kind of I think it's kind of jacked up that you know she went on Facebook and she was gloating about you know her son. She was boasting about it about her her tots shooting skills, and then she gets shot by her son in the car. Um, the 31 year old mother is she survived and um, and she's in stable condition. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. She got shot in the car? Yes. <laughs> Wait, so, hold on, hold on. So she has a pistol or whatever in the car with the baby in the back seat playing with it while she's driving. Well, okay. not all the, we don't have all the details. It's not, you know, we don't have all the details, but she got shot in the car. I don't, I don't, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I look at guns. Like, if you got one, if you have a concealed license, or like my brother has a, has a gun, he has a concealed license, whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is, if you have a gun and you know how to use it responsibly, then, you know, more power at, get a safe, do what you got to do. But to teach a four, you said four, right? Yeah. Four-year-old? Yeah. Teach a four-year-old who probably doesn't even know their ABCs? <laughs> <laughs> That's just, come on up. Come on she? Up. You, you deserve to get shot. I'm not even going to Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What she wrote was even, this is, um, you know, quote, quoting her, even my four-year-old gets jacked up to, st- uh, to target shoot with the 22. That's what she wrote on Facebook Monday about, uh, she was. Where, where, where did he what? Well, <laughs> we're going to get to that because apparently they're involved and they're investigating this case. And they're trying to find oh out God. how this, uh, this child got a hold of this gun in the first place. And I'm tr- kind of wondering the same thing, like, well, how he got a hold of the gun in the backseat of a car. We're like, where was the gun? Why do you have a, a loaded gun in the backseat of your car knowing that your child is in the backseat? What's wrong with you? Yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yep, it says uh, officials said that her son was in the backseat, fired a forty-five caliber handgun into the back of the driver's seat. 
and the bullet pierced through the cushion and struck the mom in the back. It's not clear how the Todd got his hands on the loaded weapon or where it was stored in the vehicle. Oh, yeah. So they're still investigating that. Um, it says, yeah, it says detectives are now trying to determine exactly how the boy got a hold of the gun. Exactly. Yep. So the Department of Children and Families are investigating this case. Now, I will when say. Did, when did it happen at? Huh? When did it happen at? Um, Jacksonville. Oh, my God. Yeah, your people's. <laughs> your people's. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, I, I can honestly say that, you know, I do wish her the best of health. I, you know, I Absolutely. definitely hope that she can recover from this. However, on the other hand, do I feel that much sympathy toward her? No. No, and thank God, I'm sorry to say, but thank God it was her that got shot and not yeah. him shooting himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that would have been more devastating if it was like, because that does happen. Yeah. In and all over the place where you have these tots that are actually around that age that are playing with these guns. And they end up, you know, either shooting themselves or shooting their sibling, like, you know, like their brother or sister or something. They end up dead, actually. Yeah. So thank God that she was actually able to survive that, you know. But, uh, yeah, you deserve to have Department of Children's Families investigating that case and determining how your boy got a hold of that gun. <laughs> because I'm still wondering the same thing. Yep. Y'all have no safety oh, or nothing? That's crazy. That's really crazy. Yeah. That's that. Uh, I don't know. I'm on the same <laughs> That's crazy. I'm still trying to figure out how the kid got got it out of the gun box or whatever. It was I'm more still like it was because I think in Florida you can put it affecting. Yeah, and I'm still trying to understand why she was teaching her four year old how to shoot a gun. Like that's ridiculous. Right. You know. But um, uh, not to like uh, stray away from this because I, I really do like this topic. But I also want the listeners to listen to your song because I think it's real hot. So um, we're gonna go ahead and air that. Yeah, they got to listen to this song. You know, it's, it's called Who Shot Ya? She, 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 got, she got shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. You know what? The irony of I'm that. That's messed note. up. That is so messed up, <laughs> to be honest with you. On a lighter note. Woo! <laughs> 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 for real, you guys. The song is really called Who Shot Ya? <laughs>
but shorty can't stand me until I make the fall, and they can't understand me until I get the call. Y'all just heard Who Shot Ya by Q. Yeah, that's what's up. That song is hot. That song is fire. And y'all don't forget to check out that music video. That music video is just as fiery as that song. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I'm not lying. Yep. If I'm lying, I'm flying. You oh know. Oh, God. She's trying to rhyme. Don't do it, Jay. Don't do it. <laughs> Remember when I tried to rhyme another time? I forgot what I said. I think I was like, bowling. And then Chi Chi was like, don't do that. <laughs> Well, all right, so you know what? This tea is nice, but y'all got to hold that thought because we got to come right back. All my cars face up on the table. I got to let it go. All of my chips are in. I got to let it go. I give a damn if the stakes are even. I give a damn now. Yeah. Going all out to win. I got to let it go. I ain't come a little bit closer. I got to let it go. Caution into the wind. I got to let it go. The days of my life is over. I give a damn now. Yeah. Going all out to win. Are you hangry? Know the signs. Uncontrollable yelling. Why aren't you egg rolls? Hallucination. Sushi. Pants discomfort. I hate you, pants. Hangry. It can happen to anyone. Fortunately, there's E24, the app that tells hunger to shut up. Egg rolls. Thanks, Snoop. E24. In my medical opinion, it's the best mother way to order food online baby hey guys this is sarah from night talk with joe rocks are you guys looking for a quiet getaway with a modern flair because i have a really great place i want to tell you all about the milestone inn at 146 south pomperog avenue in woodbury connecticut has the perfect combination of modern amenities but is surrounded by three verdant acres for a peaceful weekend getaway and guess what mention the promo code joe rocks and you'll receive the joe rocks signature suite You'll also receive a box of Night Talk chocolates, premium bath accessories, and a beautiful king-size bed fitted with luxury bedding. At the Milestone Inn, you'll enjoy plush comforts, modern amenities, at exceptional value. Call and book the Joe Rock Suite now at 203-405-6261 at the Milestone Inn in Woodbury, Connecticut. Hey everyone, I want to tell you all about an amazing salon. Joyce's, located at 132 Ferry Street in Everett, Massachusetts. Joyce's specializes in the latest techniques in coloring, styling, cutting, and beach waves. Joyce's features Sukesha all natural nutrient products and organic color. Joyce's full service spa and salon, located at 132 Ferry Street, Everett, Massachusetts. 617 387 6688. Specializing in you. Hey there, all you creepy people. This is Kevin Wayne from Portland, Oregon. You're listening to Armed Radio, home of the big gun. Tune in every Monday and Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, for Straight Talk with Matt Hazley. Live audio on TuneIn Radio and Spreaker.com. Plus, live video on Ustream.tv. 
from the demented minds at armedradioglobal.com. Come a little closer so you understand my time. Come closer. Right now. I mean right now. Out to win. Out to win. Come a little closer so you understand my time. Come closer. Right now. I mean right now. Out to win. All right, everybody. We are live. In the building. What, what? Hey. <laughs> All right. So uh, you're listening to Outline with Jay Monique and Chulita Sarita, a.k.a. Chi-Chi, on Arm Radio Global. And in case you missed it earlier, we were talking about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and, of course, Cupid's um, single, Who Shot Ya, and also the, the woman that got shot by her four-year-old son. Um, you know, tragic and, you know, ironic. Um, but... Anyways, now on to one of my favorite segments of our show, um, dating topics. <laughs> yes. Dum, 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 dum. Um, all right. So we have some questions, y'all. Um, all right. So what do you guys think about this? Is it okay for a married man to get an apartment for his baby's mother? Uh, hell no. <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? Like, I think I would divorce you if you actually asked me something like that. Like, uh, what? What kind of nonsense is that? Really? Uh, is, a, is, a, is a baby mama and the, the, the new wife. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> My husband will not be supporting okay. his baby mother, okay? What he needs to support like is his child. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like it. I That's it. I like my chicken too. Oh no! Uh uh. No, to be said, if it's if it's if it's something that has to do with your child, and for whatever reason, you know, she needs help. I don't see what the problem is with helping. But if you don't have a kid together, and she's just being whatever they gave me, then not not sure. Yeah, like what if she's like homeless or something? Like what if the baby's mother's like homeless and she's destitute and she yeah, has the kids then kid. you know I'm saying point, exactly like, thank you I'm sorry um I I I don't understand that it's and it's maybe it's yeah maybe maybe I'm just cold hearted <laughs> but that question is so stupid to me no, I think that's ridiculous. Just because you made a lot of bad life decisions doesn't mean that my new husband has to pay for them. No, thank you, okay? <laughs> I didn't make those decisions, and I shouldn't have to pay for them. That's ridiculous. She's oh, like, that's my man. Oh, he ain't getting no apartment for you. That's yeah, my money. Yeah, get out of here. You to for me at the spa. Yeah, and thank you. You should have made better decisions, and you wouldn't be a baby's mother. You would be married to him. Thank oh, you. Get out of oh, here. God. No, uh-uh. Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know like that? Because I don't even... Because I think it's just stupid. And I know that I know that people actually do these things. And it's one thing to help somebody out. It's a whole nother... I mean, get an apartment? Like, are you crazy? No, there's no way. Like, I would smack him and her for even thinking that. Like, that, that would never even happen. And maybe that's the bully in me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the yeah, like, yep, yep, there, there. Right away, there. yeah, because you know what? <laughs> because if I am that much of a bully, you would know better than to even bring this topic up to me. You wouldn't even bother to even ask me something like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly y'all crazy so would you date a man or a woman that's 10 years younger or older than you actually uh 10 years oh, older yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, i mean you know as as a man dating a woman i could see that as a woman dating a man, yeah, I'm in my 30s, though. I mean, a lot of 40-year-olds can't keep up with me, so I don't know. I don't know about all that. Uh, that's, that's <laughs> <not really laughs> you, 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 
Mm-hmm. He's like 40. Mm-hmm. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All day. <laughs> yeah. So if she was single, you would date Gabrielle. Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you got so serious? I can't be the same. I'm just saying, I hate. And there's other women that are around the same age. I can't remember all the names right now. But, I thought that. <laughs> I would date a man that's 10 years older than me. Like, if he's, you know, mature and well-established and we got that connection and we got that vibe and he doesn't look his age, I would give him a shot, you know? Right. Yeah, I think connection has a lot to do with it. But, Q, I don't think that any woman that is 10 years older than you is going to accept you having a side chick. So that's not going to yeah. work for Ooh. you, okay? I didn't say it. Uh, I like my women in twos, really. No 10-year-old woman is going to be okay with that. I'm just saying. Plastic. <laughs> I'm just quoting you from earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, gosh. It just got real. I'm a very faithful man. You know, when I find that right one, it just hurts. That's all I see. So I don't know what you're talking about, the side chick, where this coming from. I was only quoting what you said earlier that you like your woman in two, and I know that any right. woman that's. Well, most women, if they're not going to be okay with that. They're going to be like, what? No. I'm just talking about our homies. Wait, wait, we want to walk in. Oh, wait, I forgot about that. Let, let, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, so let me stop talking crap until I get my tickets and stuff. So I apologize about yeah, that. Yeah, you didn't get your tickets yet. Like, come on, man, you got to be strategic. Come on. I forgot. I lost myself to the moment. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so I wanted to ask that same question in reverse. Would you actually date someone that was ten years younger than you? No, absolutely uh, not. I wouldn't. Okay. Because, um, I've done it, and they're not. You know, the, the maturity level, just like what you were saying before. You know, it's it's not there. There, maybe you want one thing in life, and then they're they're wanting something totally different. Like they want to party, 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 and you just want to Netflix and chill. I don't know. Netflix and chill. <laughs> hey, that's me all day. I'm not going to lie. On my free time, you know, like if it's Saturday night or something or Sunday night, yeah, I, I do like to watch that Netflix, get some popcorn. No, no, no. What well, right. he's talking about Netflix and chill has nothing to do with actually Netflix. It's still playing, but there's no... Do you, yeah, Netflix and chill is like what they say when they want a booty call. <laughs> he just said Netflix and chill. No. <laughs> we, we, you know what, Q, you know what Netflix and chill. You know that's that. Netflix and chill is just chill. Like, you know, it was like what Jay said, you know. Get the popcorn, you watch a nice little flick. See? Maybe a series you've been No, you know, because you Jay, you're, you're you're more pure, but Q's not. So <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll take that compliment. Yes, I'm pure. <laughs> I get lost. Yeah, I think that um I wouldn't do ten years younger unless I just wanted like a fling and I just wanted somebody that I didn't want to really take serious and you know, just to get mine and keep them moving yeah I, I think i would do the 10 years younger but other than that no all right so moving on <laughs> yes because yeah. <laughs> um go ahead speak your mind <laughs> uh, no, no. all right <laughs> it doesn't say it doesn't specify well, let's say there's no kids involved. Uh, yeah, let's just say... There are kids No, no kids involved. <laughs> no kids. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if they are homeless and they got, like, this pitiful look on their face and they got, like, they just lost their job or something like Again, that? Again, bad life decisions. <laughs> they, got, they got mommy and daddy, right? They got mommy and daddy, got brothers and sisters, right? Yeah. No, uh, I wouldn't do it. Even uh, if they were, even if they didn't have any family, I wouldn't do it. That's just, I wouldn't do it. So what if they did have kids? Would you financially support your ex for like, 
How? A probation period. How? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did it. I did it. <laughs> like financially support you? <laughs> I did it, okay? You should never do it. It's just, I mean, you know what? As much as you guys are talking about I'm a bully and everything, everybody knows that I have a huge heart. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys, depending on how you break up, too, you have to, if, if you're the one that's breaking up with them, and they're going to use you, and then they're, then they're going to probably do something malicious after they use you. So, I mean, yeah. from my own experience, that's that's how I got dealt with. And, um, you know, I'm still dealing, thinking about whether I'm going to, you know, handle that situation or not. But I'll leave that for off air. Well, I can tell you that <laughs> X offered me to financially support me after a breakup. Yes, and, he, and he offered, <laughs> right? And I'm still single. And he said, yeah, I support you. And he's paying all my bills, plus giving me an allowance. Every week I get to get my Brazilian done. I get <laughs> um, It's an ex that is being generous. Yeah. <laughs> I just got way. <laughs> I just have way too much pride. Like, my pride wouldn't let me do it. I'm, then you owe me money, then I'm not going to feel sorry. That's right. You need to pay. Pay what you owe. But hey, actually, like, I just, I don't want nobody to, to look at me and be like, oh, my God, you're doing so bad here. Here, I feel sorry for you. Well, no, my you struggle. already know what Chi Chi's going to be doing. <laughs> if her ex, any one of her exes came to her and asked, look at the phone with this look <laughs> on her face. She's going to pause for a second. And then she's just going to start laughing like, please, <laughs> in your dreams. And then she'll hang up. If it's face to face, she's still going to laugh in their face. Bad. You know See, I'm, I'm right. You deserve it. See, this isn't slander. This is true. She's admitting, she's admitting it. <laughs> All right. So the next question, which I I think is going to be funny. Um, would you let your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife have a sleepover with their female? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's say they've been platonic friends for like ten years. <laughs> yeah, but what if what if they're invited? <laughs> 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 I would not grant permission. There's no authority at all. Nope, you grounded. Honestly, with a question like that, don't you think it's time to you know rethink your whole relationship at that? Yeah. If they ask you that first, ask. Oh, you know. All right, I'll pack my bags too, and I'll go ahead and do a sleepover. The case may be the other half and their best friend, which is uh, another sex, whatever the case may be, and it's telling you you grown. <laughs> so what are you doing a slumber party for? Yeah, so gonna play Monopoly or something? Nah, they ain't playing. Right? What, what What if they invited you over to the sleepover and you said, "Okay, yeah, I'll pack my bags." Oh, that's right. That's right. Because what are you gonna do? Let's do some really grimy stuff that when you go take a again, like weekie or whatever the case may be. Then then again, you can re- 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 reevaluate your life. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the your whole life. Your whole life. <laughs> your whole life. Yeah. I, I just don't, I, you know, I just think that it's very weird uh, for anyone to, and he's inviting you and your man. You know, me, I I don't know, maybe I'm a little paranoid, but I'd be like, why the hell, do you, why are you inviting us over for a sleepover? We don't get down like that. I would be thinking more like swingers type. Thing. Yeah, you know, I'd be feeling some type of way, and, and then I would reevaluate our relationship as friends. Like I don't know, Mm-mm. and your life, get your life. <laughs> <laughs> you really see who that person really is, and in a better sense, you, you should be happy that you're not messing with that person. That's not mature enough. Like it's, it's just petty. It's like you're tit for tat. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a lot of times it has to do with someone being spiteful. And um, most of the time while you're actually in that relationship, you'll see those signs even before you break up. Um, You know, they'll do some relationship and and they'll show you their true selves, especially if you've been with them for a long time. Um, So, you know, I I think it definitely is pitiful. Um, And, you know, when you're playing with someone's life, I think you've taken it to a whole nother, you know, level. Um, I, I think that that person shouldn't even be part of your life. I think they, you know, you should keep them as far away from you as possible. 
um, because, you know, they're themselves. So exactly. That right there, um, you know, that, that hit home. That bothers me a lot. I, you know, situations in the past or whatever. Um, but, you know, people can be malicious and sometimes they don't, they don't really care as much as um, you think in the past. Um, they'll show, they'll show their true colors if they're really hurt. Exactly. That's absolutely true. Now, X tried to sabotage my career. Oh, no. Not only are we not friends, we're not even associates. We're nobody. You are, if, if we were connected on any type of social media, you are immediately going to be unfriended from Facebook. I'm going to unfollow you off of Twitter and I know what I'm doing and then turn around and try to, you know, switch it into something else. So, back. You know, as far as exes, these pathetic exes that try to sabotage their ex's career after a breakup, you know, and you know what? These subjects are so interesting, you guys. And I really, really wish that we could continue for the night because this is just <laughs> we can just keep on talking, to be honest with y'all. But to be honest, that wraps us up for the night. Catch us every Thursday. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Armed Radio Global, Global, and stay tuned for Jam or Slam It and Time to Cook. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Our Twitter is Outline Show, Instagram Outline Show, Facebook Outline Show, and as far as our individual social media pages, uh, Twitter for me, um, should... <laughs> uh, my Facebook is Sarah Figueroa. Uh, my Twitter is Sarah M. Figueroa and Instagram Chulita Sarita dot Chichi. Um, don't forget to check out your boy Q. His video is on fire. You know, you have to check it out. Um, it's a uh, Cupid who shot you. And um, yeah, look for it on iTunes. Exactly. And don't forget our previous guest. Just crazy. And the video is sick. It's so sexy. It's definitely something that you want to turn on right before you go to bed with your honey. Exactly. All right. Well, it's your girl. Time to go. Come a little closer so you understand my time. Come closer.